Hey guys, um, it's Celestial Cosplay. I'm finally getting around to doing the Q&A video that you guys had requested. Um, I put all of your questions down in the order I received them um, onto Microsoft Word and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I feel like some of these I answered in my last one, but that's okay. Um, okay, so the first one is what got you into cosplay? Um, a lot of you know my boyfriend Ross. We have been together for five years, um, over five years now. We, um, we planned to go to OMGCon together in 2010, and he had been to SkoyCon in 2009 and already kind of had an idea of what, what went into that and what was expected and people cosplaying and that sort of thing. That was his first con. So, um, OMGCon was coming up in June of... 2010 and he asked me if I wanted to go and told me uh, that a lot of people were dressing up and asked me if I wanted to and I was like heck yeah I want to dress up that sounds awesome so I was really into Death Note at the time and as some of you maybe saw the other day I posted a link to um, a long brown wig because ever since I dyed my hair black I haven't been able to cosplay light because I always used my um, my normal hair color when I when I did that I never had a wig so I really miss cosplaying light and I'm I bought that wig and I'm bringing light back probably um, I may do it at Kentokyo Con it depends on if uh, if people need me for panels with other costumes but um, I may bring them for for Kentokyo Con but um, I might just have him for the Japan Summerfest on September 12th, I believe is the date. But uh, yes, yeah, so you guys can look forward to seeing more light and uh, with longer hair, version 2. So yeah, so Ross got me into cosplay and uh, never looked back. I don't, think, I don't think there's been a single con that I've been to that I haven't cosplayed um, at least once. So... <sighs> This is <laughs> this has become my life. Uh, who are your who are some of your favorite cosplayers? Um, that's really hard. I I guess my friends, like all of all of my friends, are so talented and and I know them. Like this kind of um, there's another question. It says, is there any cosplayer, uh, famous or otherwise, that you would like to meet? <sighs> I really, I don't want this to sound stuck up at all. I really don't. Um, I've never been one to want to stand in line to meet cosplayers or actors or anyone because I feel like it's not really meeting them. It's, you know, you, you stand in line just like everyone else. And I think I, I said something like this in my other video too, but um, it's like you're just another fan and you know I'm sure they appreciate it and everything but there's there's no time and there's no real ability to get to know everyone who is a fan of yours so unless I was really meeting someone like really sitting down and like talking to them and um, you know knowing them as a person rather than a fan meeting someone they idolize, I, I really am not interested in that. Um, I've never waited in line for an autograph. I don't, I don't really care about getting a picture with someone just because they're in a show I like or they're a voice actor. Um, the, only, the only person I really enjoyed seeing and meeting was uh, Little Karibo at Yamakon last year. He was very, he was very sweet and it was, it was fun to just watch him in his panel. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't expect him to ever remember me. Um, but if I, if I'm going to meet someone that cosplays, I'd really want to meet them, um, rather than just, you know, get a hug or a picture. So, um, so my favorite cosplayers, the cosplayers that I have actually gotten to meet and talk to, or at least, you know, talk to online, um, who aren't, you know, most people would say, you know, maybe Yaya Han or Dust Bunny or someone, um, really well known, which, I mean, that would be cool. That would be cool. I'm not, I'm not 
trying to, to talk down any of those ladies or gentlemen that that are really well known in this um, in this community but I personally am not interested in seeing them in person unless I was actually getting to meet them in a in a personal sense so those kind of um, went together if skill wasn't an issue what cosplay would you want to do most um, Hmm. That Mary Poppins that I have, the uh, the picnic dress. Um, I guess when when they're in the chalk uh, drawings, that one I'm I'm really looking forward to. But it's gonna be so tough. But the the thing about this is, you only get skill by doing things. You only get skill by practicing. So all that you know, no cosplay is out of reach you know I could I could eventually you know if I worked hard enough and I practiced and I studied and wanted to make it a full-time job and that sort of thing I could probably do any costume I wanted to um, it just it takes time and it takes effort and um, you have to you have to hone your skill so but yeah so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that Mary Poppins <laughs> Um, have you ever performed a group cosplay? I have done, um, I've done Pokemon groups, but as far as, like, really well put together, um, themes, I've really only done couples. Um, I guess, I guess I've done, like, trios. We did Ed and Eddie <laughs> one year for OMG Con. That was fun. But, uh, yeah, I've done, I guess I've done a couple of, of group cosplays, but nothing... It's hard. It's so hard to get people together and like, I don't know, I, I'm <laughs> I am currently holding uh, Catalyst Cosplay and Hattie back on the um, Fire Nation trio <laughs> since I, don't, I haven't started uh, on the second half of Azula yet. So once, uh, once I get my butt in gear for that, I will have another group cosplay. If I had an unlimited budget and supplies, what would I cosplay? Hmm. Oh, man. I don't know. I really should, like, read through these and formulate my answers before I start making the video, but I didn't do that. Um. I don't know. Cosplay is, is so, like, it hits me. Um. Like... You know, like, um, I posted the uh, Mystical Elf from Yu-Gi-Oh! cosplay. I don't even know why I was thinking about that or what I was doing. I think I was on Tumblr. And that was like, oh, wow, that's that's something really pretty and feminine that appeals to me. So I'm going to put it on my list, maybe. So I really don't... I don't think about the next step up in skill level, I guess. I just... Like, I started watching Steven Universe, and I'm like, oh, God, I know I want to cosplay something from this because I love this show. And, um, uh-oh, my battery. Hopefully this doesn't cut off. But, um, okay, so I'm going to go through this pretty fast. Um, so I guess if I had unlimited budget and supplies, I would just cosplay more things more quickly. Um, not necessarily anything harder. Um... What inspired you to cosplay? You guys really inspired me to cosplay. Like, I've, I've felt like kind of quitting a couple of times. Like, I got stressed out about it. Um, but I feel like there's people that really are looking forward to what I do and really appreciate what I do. So, you guys motivate me a lot. But um, it's fun. Like, you know, Ross got me into it to begin with, but I... I keep doing it because it's fun for me and it's it's rewarding and um, I've I've met so many people really I think uh, I keep my my friends on my personal account really low but I would say that of the people in my life right now 
not including family, like 85 to 90 percent are people that are from the con community, the con circuit here. Um, and, and that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, okay. If you could trade places with a character you cosplay, who would it be and why? Oh, man. Um, Daenerys would be pretty cool. Um, assuming she stays alive. I'm, I got my, I got my hopes up for that one, but, um, Megami? No. No. I love her to death. Wouldn't trade places with her. Um... Who else do I cosplay? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably have to go with Daenerys. Dragons are are a pretty pretty sweet selling point for that. Um, if you suddenly became the last character you cosplayed, what would your life be? Uh, I would be hanging out in the spirit world with my gal pal, and uh, and whenever we got done, I would still be filthy rich and super hot. So, there you go. Thanks, Asami. Um, someone asked what got you started. Um, that, I kind of answered that one. Um, it all comes back to Ross. Um, who do you look up to in terms of cosplaying? White Cat Cosplay. Um, that one's straight up. They are, uh, friends of mine, but they are so they are so talented like I'm so just in awe of them all the time and maybe is uh maybe maybe is is so just technical with her with her cosplays and and I tend to just kind of slap stuff together <laughs> I'm I'm not one to like draft sword patterns and and or spear patterns and uh you know, create fursuits and, and all that stuff. And, and, uh, flying stewardess is, you know, she's, she's got her pit. She made the wings for, and she, oh God, they're so cute together. I'm just, I love them. I love you guys, <laughs> Tina and Heather. Um, uh, da, da, da. let's see. Are you willing to travel to judge cosplay competitions in other cities, states, or countries? Ooh, the countries is a bit difficult, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, if, if someone was paying my way, uh, for sure, but, um, let's see, I mean, I've, I've already, um, I guess technically gone to other cities to judge, um, I went to Versailles last, two weekends ago, I guess, no, I don't remember, I have no concept of time, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely willing to do that, I'm, I'm, just starting out with with judging this is coming up at Kentokyo Con is just my third um, judging so I'd probably want to get a little bit more practiced with it but um, yeah I'm definitely willing to do that so um, yeah I've had I've had a lot of fun doing that you guys uh, the next one is how long do you think you'll be cosplaying uh, as long as time money physical ability, um, you know, as long as my situation allows. I, I have a really great time, you know, I, I keep reiterating this, but, you know, I've met amazing people. Um, it it kind of goes back to something, I always tell people this story. My dad asked me, God, I had to have been like 12, and he said, Emily, when are you going to stop liking Pokemon? And I said, never. There's a gnat in here. And I said, never. And, like, I'm 24 now. So that was 12 years ago. 13, maybe. And, uh, I wish I could have told him in that moment, like, actually, not just, not just will I never stop liking Pokemon, but I'm going to own every game that they've released. I'm going to, um collect stuffed animals and well into my 20s of Pokemon and I'm going to dress up as a Charizard and walk around in a bunch of strangers so yeah that's <laughs> there's your proof but uh Pokemon is is super important to me and cosplay is um 
kind of a similar a similar thing. It's something that a lot of people would consider childish, but I guess outside of the community, I mean, but you know, I'm I'm planning on being a cosplay mom and I'm planning costumes for my kids and like I already have costumes lined up for my kids, like baby Piccolo. That's adorable. Um do you have a collection of anything? Uh, yes, I do, and I'm going to show you that right now. Hold on. This is my perfume collection. Um, I have a lot, and um, it's really starting to become an issue. Uh, so I've got, you know, Britney Spears, um, a lot of Avon stuff. These are all Avon, Avon, Beyonce. Be or no, no, see. Beyonce, Lady Gaga, um, Ralph Lauren. This one is something called Lalia. Let's see. I can't switch my camera angle, but this one was. It's like this is how small it is, and it was ten dollars. So um, yeah, I would I would consider that a problem. Okay, so the last question is. <laughs> This is from uh, Bia, the um, the uh, one who's been drawing all those fan arts for me this week. And she thinks she's being silly, but it says, On a scale of 1 to 10, what is your favorite color of the alphabet? Um, and I told her, I was like, well, um, uh-oh, I have a... No, someone sent me a message. <laughs> Sorry, hang on, it's blocking the screen. Okay, there we go, good. Um, so I have um, a mild form of synesthesia. Um, and I, I've talked to you guys a lot about um, ASMR. And that's kind of, oh my god, hold on. My friend Billy just got released from the hospital. He had a, a little checkup and they ran some scans and he's letting us all know. Uh, what's going on with that, but he's fine. Um, oh my god. Um, okay, so I have a, a mild form of synesthesia where um, I, I associate numbers and letters and colors with um, gender and like personality, I guess. You would say, um, so <laughs> my, my favorite, like, personalities of letters and numbers and colors, um, like, the, the letters and numbers, I've got, um, P and Y, and, uh, they are associated with number nine and I don't know if that's because um, nine and P are like mirror image but uh so those have the same personality and um, they're kind of a like a lavender uh, and then <laughs> so um, on a scale of 1 to 10, my favorite color of the alphabet would be 9. <laughs> because 9 goes to lavender, goes to uh, Y and P. So, B, I told you I had a really good answer for that. <laughs> but, uh, um, I really appreciate you guys sending in the questions. Uh, these are really fun for me to make. So, um, maybe in a couple months I'll do another one. And if, uh, if there's any other videos you all would like to see um, from me, just let me know. Um, I guess, let's see. There's really no makeup tutorials I feel like people can't do that I do, but if there's one that, that you really um, would like to see a step-by-step step, step step on, um, just feel free to let me know. Um, if not, I will talk to you guys in the next Q&A. Thanks.